Hi guys, welcome back to a Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob, and today I forgot to uh, take the pre-footage of the car there. Um, I didn't manage to take any pictures, so the actual thumbnail picture is a, uh, a Google image, and uh, yeah, no uh, turntable, so you'll have to wait to the end to see the turntable, uh, but anyway, getting straight into this uh, one you can see on this base here I actually started to uh, take this car apart a few months ago and and I think that's probably why it put me off somewhat um, put me off my game really for um, you know my usual taking the pictures and stuff like that um, like I say I'd already pre-drilled this one and I snapped a drill bit um, in the base and I just, I think I'd had enough, and I put it to one side, and I tried to move on, and I'd done something else, but anyway, I've had some new drill bits recently, and uh, yeah, they went through it, but I uh, have to remove this um, pubic hair, it's not mine, but we'll put that base to one side now, and uh, dispose of... Uh, the mess but anyway moving on we got the interior here in white and it's quite quite nicely detailed but uh, we're gonna be painting that today and then the window section here thankfully no cracks no major gouges it's certainly scuffed up being almost 30 years old uh, made in 1992 made in China and I shan't make any comment but uh, you'll see there the opening doors, they've just popped out there, and the little uh, retaining piece. I'll put that to one side, that won't be going in the foot long today. I'm sure it'll be fine, but, you know, it really doesn't need it, so. We'll grab the doors here. Not bad bit of uh, detail on the inside there. Quite heavy paint, so probably, uh, you know, I was hoping to see a lot of uh, detail come back. But into the footlong hot dog jar, it all goes, including the base. Covered in boiling water, and in comes a tablespoon of caustic soda. That's one way to clean it. And what I don't show you is actually this uh, caustic soda here. I left for probably, I want to say, 20 minutes. And this paint really stuck on there you can see there I have no idea where this ripper theme had come from uh, the skull and crossbones on the bonnet there the eyes had gone but uh, to be honest the paint it really did hold up and I flushed it I kind of give it a bit of a scrub up and then I hit it up again with caustic soda but this second time round, I left it for a bit longer, and I went with two tablespoons. I thought I'd treat myself to uh, two tablespoons of caustic soda. But, um, yeah, it still had a bit of paint left, which I'll show you shortly. But whilst all that was going on in the background, we'll clean up these plastics. And, uh, yeah, the interior there, looking good as new. But like I say, I'm going to be painting that shortly. And then the window section here come out pretty good. But you can see there, it does need a bit of a, a rub down and a buff up before it goes into the pledge. Revive it, floor polish solution. And that's a, a 1200 grit. And I think you can see there, uh, after the 1200 grit, I'll give it a little bit of a, a polish. But yeah, looking brand new again. Very nice. And uh, <laughs> the jar here, I think I'm going to have to try and clean it or at least replace it. I've just been the same jar I've had for probably six months or so. And it's starting to get a bit gummed up around the, uh, the lid. And I think probably a new one will be in order. 
But uh, moving on to this base here, we're using the pound shop or dollar store satin black for this interior. And it really does dry in a beautiful finish. And this one can of paint will probably do, I don't know, 50 interiors perhaps. Well worth the one pound investment. There we are. Sometimes it covers us some of that uh, detail, but once it dries, it really comes back. So out of the jar. So this is actually the second time. So I didn't show you the first time because there wasn't too much to show, but certainly the doors there, nice and clear, nice and clean. And uh, that inside there, you can see much better now, I think. But yeah, still, so bearing in mind, you know, I went with a, a second dunk and a two tablespoons the uh, the next time. Still quite a bit of paint left here. Probably only around an 83.73% paint removal today. So we're going to have to rely on the rotary tool here with the uh, steel wire attachment. And give you a little sample of the roof section there we are looking nice and shiny so we'll do that all over and I've just picked up to some new Biejo hobby paint primer in blanco or white um, I usually use the black and I was running out and uh, courtesy of my beautiful patrons I was able to uh, grab myself a couple of these cans of of primer and never using the white before of course I normally use the Tamiya fine surface uh, primer in white which I certainly have a lot more of uh, you can see I was just uh, I just noticed a little hair and uh, I wanted to just pick that off before continuing Otherwise, it will kind of dry into the paint. But yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe jewelry is still out on this uh, white primer from Biejo. I love the black stuff. And um, I bought one white, one black. And I thought I'd, you know, give it a little uh, try. But... Um, Yeah, I don't know, it, it, it seemed to kind of go on a little bit hard to describe. I, I guess because I'm comparing it to the uh, Tamiya Fine Surface Primer. I guess this ultimately this went on a little bit thicker. But on this casting, perhaps that was uh, a good thing. As you can still uh, see there, on the underside of that uh, base there was still a little bit of red holding on in there my tack life rotary tool um, I've got two of them and one of I've still got to fix the other one because the battery had come loose and I've still got to solder the battery back on but uh, yeah the one battery fully charged kind of struggled to do this whole car And I wanted to, of course, uh, get it buffed up, get it primed, so that I can uh, leave it to dry before the next coat. So just showing you here all parts in primer. Going forward, I'll just show you the uh, the main uh, body of the casting. Uh, but we're using the silver as a base coat to a black candy now what I find with candy paint is that it is best applied over a light base whereas the flip paints that I use are best over a, a dark base and this silver you can barely see uh, over the white at least to my eye until you compare it to another white object 
and then you can say, oh, okay, yeah, it is actually going on. But the BMW 850i, or you've got the BMW 840i, I think they come out in the late 80s and throughout the early 90s. I remember seeing these cars probably, I don't know, 10 years ago. Nobody wanted them. They were dirt cheap. But today the prices have gone through the roof. And they are beautiful, there's no doubt about it. It's a cool looking car. Big V8 engine. Well, I think the 5 litres of V12, if I remember rightly. But yeah, um, comparing that white to the silver there, you can see the difference. But yeah, we're now using the uh, black candy over this silver, which has dried really nicely. Actually looks quite nice in silver. But, uh, you know, I would really love one of these 8 series BMWs myself. And I considered what colour would I want, what wheels would I want. And actually, that's kind of how I started out today. Um, I buy my wheels from uh, the same place. I've kind of got like two options. I've got one option for the green light wheels and an option for more like, uh, uh, which are, the green light stuff is for more like American cars and stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, I use a chap on eBay. Uh, toys of Durham and her chap's name's called Chris and you know he gives me kind of all these pictures and says you know which ones do you want and uh, anyway I'll link his uh, eBay down in the description below and just order myself another another batch of them which hopefully will come to me shortly uh, but I had one set left and I kind of went into my box of toys of cars and I thought which one will sue it and I picked out this BMW and I thought yeah these wheels will be perfect but anyway had a couple of coats of that and then some um, clear coat so there we are the interior looking good got the glass section here looking good and yeah after hitting it up with some clear coat that is looking beautiful same again on the base And then those, those wheels I was talking about. So here's a kind of reminder of what she looked like. And this is the result. So we're all back together now. I've added just a few little details. I kind of felt like I didn't want to take away from this casting. In the menacing kind of black on black look. But of course couple of little light uh, details around the front coming around the back those wheels I think really suit it sometimes I turn around the tires but I don't know I felt like it needed a little something on the side so I kind of left the font there on the outside I actually lowered this car a little bit it was kind of sitting a little bit high to start with but yeah, added a little bit of a uh, styrene which kind of uh, allowed me to uh, drop it down probably about three inches you know if it was real scale but probably about three millimeters in this scale. Uh, the back lights, as you can see, I've painted those in. But yeah, you can just about see the satin, beautiful, what would be black leather interior. But anyway, really happy with this one. And with 2,000 likes, remember, it could be yours. And I just want to thank my amazing patrons. And if you stick around, I've got a little bit of extra footage, just because I felt that on the carousel, it didn't kind of... Uh, truly show how beautiful this was so I'll leave this with you and I'll see you all soon